Hey guys, it's me Chan Regan and today's video is about PGR and we will focusing for the next patch which is the Floating Reverie. The main highlight of course in this patch will be Hanying as a brand new character, she is airing physical support. This patch is relatively very relaxing besides like Hanying as a brand new character, they only add couple of very minor changes and including like adding chapter for stronghold and that's pretty much that's it. So maybe if you burn out, then you want to take your time, you want to touch some grass. This is one of the best I think opportunity that you can do that because this is majority just chill, you can just like do daily and log out and something like that. And so does this video, this video mostly also just about yapping and just show my very chill side. And of course I will cover like as usual, the overview by hanging the good and bad, what is the best stopping point of this character, should you build her and something like that. So let's get started. Just give you a small reminder, this is the A rings hanging, we will not get the S rank hanging if you already see some people post that only CN. So we will get that S rank hanging will be another a year. So let's up first with the pros or positive side of Bad Hanging. First, she has a A rank, she is beautiful, simple, and elegant. Literally, compared to other like A rank design, actually more complicated. She is literally only like simple Chinese dress, but yet it's so, I don't know, very aesthetic. Like in terms of like the model, everything just looks so good. I'm not even joking. And this is one of my favorite A rank, to be honest, in terms of design. It's just so elegant, literally, at least for me. I don't know what you want to call, but for me, this is very elegant. And this time, if you want to call her mommy, I think this is very suitable for her because she literally taking care of pull out. So she is basically mother figure compared to other. She is canonically more like suitable, like as a mom type character. Second, with Hanyin, you can create a fun physical team along with her same alliance, which is Pulau and Chu, because they are same in How long? And a funny thing in here that this physical team actually can work in Warzone and PPC, but you really need very, very high investment, which is Chu and Pulau need triple S, and Hanyin is triple S plus, and you need all of their signature weapons. Very expensive, it's not worth it's not even close okay with the metaphysical with Bianca Stigmata, Rosetta, and Leaf Luminance. Not even close if you already reach like SS of all of them. Not even close. So yeah, this is only to let you know only fun fact. This is mostly the one that will took this approach mostly only Wells, the one that have money that try to go full and fast and maybe try to be in competitive. Yeah, it can work, but for free to play, I will not recommend, okay? Because this is so expensive, not even work. And the next one, she is actually a good substitute or alternative of Leaf Luminance. Let's say maybe you are a new player, don't have her yet, or you already picked like Kamuit and everyone and want to use maybe for another character, then yes, you can treat Haying as a temporary physical support while waiting Alisa because Alisa soon also will be free for a while right now while you don't have Leaf Luminance and you can use for Hanying. And ultimate addition, if you ask, is she actually better than Leaf Luminance? Of course not, especially if you already leap your Leaf Luminance. And the last one, she is free and that's a good thing. Please don't skip a free character. And let's talk about her cons or negative. Basically, she doesn't really have any negative. She is just airing mostly that you can use as a substitute. But I want to highlight in here if you're chasing for meta that of course she is not the first choice and of course later you will get Alisa for free and she will be the one that replace of course the support physical like leaf luminance and hiding of course so she is, will be the top choice and that's free and that's why probably hiding will overshadow of course. And that's about the pros and cons now we'll talk about the good stopping point for hiding if you want to use her as a temporary physical support. So for me a good stopping point for hiding is triple S just because on triple S she will allow her QTE to increase her physical damage bonus from 10% to 20% which is for me it's a nice addition for you to have. But don't worry that's actually still achievable you can farm actually daily 2 shards for A ring character so don't forget to do it if you want to use hiding. And the last section will be hanging overview. In here, I will explain a little bit about her kit. It's just in general. Of course, if you want in detail about her guide, you can see like Rexlan or Spider to be. Hiding quite simple as a character. The things that you should start first, which is do the three ping, and then later you will see in here you will get a stack. So you can get this stack up to four. So after that, you can tap dodge in here. So if you pay attention, that the stack nearby your dodge is being consumed once you tap the dodge in here, and it accumulates a brand new stack. You can see in the middle the one that looks like fan. Yeah, you get one stack right in here, and also the same. You can get this stack up to four. Now Hanying will enter her core passive mode, which is it called dancing posture. 
so you can pay attention also the ping already become a specialized ping so you cannot do any three ping in here like normal ping you can only do one ping and then pay attention in here after you tap any the special light ping or later it will consume all the stack in the middle and then later it will return into her normal mode again and that's about her core passive so additional notes in here that if you wonder what actually the difference between one stack until four stack it's just same with another character where the more stack you will get more damage of course that you will deal you can see i'll show you the comparison However, if you manage to get until max stack, which is 4, and you consume all the stack, you will get a field that gives you buff for your physical damage, and it also heal your allies. To make it short, if you can get until max set, you will not just get more damage, you will get also like buff to your allies for physical damage and give you heal. And of course, lastly, if you already get enough energy, you will just trigger the ultimate. Alternatively, you can use this ultimate in her Dancy posture mode for the higher damage. In very simplified mode, how to use Hanying. So whenever you enter battle with Hanying, just tripping as much as you can to get the highest stack. Of course, if you can reach max stack, that's the better. Afterward, pressing dodge and you consume all the stack in here and just trigger the special ping, just ping anything or and end with the burst and change to the next character. And that's the standard how you play hanging it's just very simple but of course if you come to main maxing later if you already have let's say bianca stimacta maybe double s3 or even triple s you may not even need to full rotation your hanging you just change directly to bianca stigmata because mostly we just want to use hanging as a qte bot because if you stay too long with hanging we will quiet like lose dps a lot Lastly, Hanying QTE in here, she will summon the field, it will heal the allies and also will increase the physical damage bonus by 10% for 8 seconds. So this is where usually we will utilize Hanying as a QTE support. Hanying has special feature in here, although this is not important but nice to know where. She actually can float, so just keep moving forward or just keep moving, later she will enter floating more and can like move faster. I don't think any character have this or at least not so much character have this but so far the one that I test not even S rank I don't think they have this feature too so it is kind of nice to have from Hanying itself like special feature. And now we will move into Hanying build and let's start with the 6 star memories. For her standard build or the one that mostly we will use as a QTE bot then it will be 2 piece of Philip and 4 piece of Da Vinci. This is basically a standard for support character. And the position of the memories, Philip will be 1 and 3 and Da Vinci of course 2, 4, 5, 6. For memory resonance, top and the bottom row will be attack and crit. And the next one, this is just very niche build. This is mostly if you just want to have fun and want to make hiding as a main piece, then you can go with 2 piece of Darwin and 4 piece of Hana. Darwin position will be 1 and 3. As for main DPS build, memory resonance, the top will be attack and crit, and bottom row will be the core passive. As for hypertune for Hanying, usually it's only optional for the airing character, especially she is just support. But if you just really want to hypertune her, you can fully actually hypertune her just because physical usually very benefit with the fully hypertune but of course prioritize first bottom row so yeah that's everything i want to talk about hanging overall i say this is mostly a chill patch and hanging mostly as just as an alternative unit if you don't have any physical support and yeah just mostly in here you just chill around if you burn out i already say you can take this time to just log in do daily and get out and yeah enjoy your fun time in pjr and just enjoy the hanging beauty in here so if you like this video feel free to hit the button and i will see you next time bye bye